Hey Corky, my name is Jared Joyce, and better an entrepreneur, and if you were watching this video within the context of the submission round 98, then you probably just watched a 15 minute video previously where I walked you through my no tools required furniture joint system, uh, starting with asymmetrical joints, rotational lockdown, then into modular furniture design, all the way finishing with the Diamondback bookshelf. The reason I have created this video is that I've got some questions from the community as well as some previous objections from the Quirky staff that I wanted to address. And so uh, I'll just get started. Currently from the community, I have some people are saying they're confused, saying, Jared, didn't you submit the Diamondback bookshelf in product round 82? And now you're submitting both the Diamondback bookshelf with modular cube designs, all covered by two U.S. patents here in product round 98? <gasps> Big breath. Yes, that's, that's exactly correct. So, here was my thinking. Normally, although Quirky is very much interested in product line extension, they always start with one product. So, in product round uh, 82 it was, I submitted the Diamondback bookshelf by itself. I thought, let's, you know, keep the scope tight, do a product that uses the system, but just present one product. However, due to some of the objections in the evaluation round, which I'll get to next, I decided I'm going to submit the entire joint system so you can understand the whole picture uh, and you know take that into consideration as you vote this week. So, uh, for those of you who are new, you weren't around in evaluate or product submission round 82, what happened there was I submitted just the Diamondback bookshelf and it got the most popular vote. It got 167 comments, most of which were all very positive. And then it went to the evaluation phase in the top five. And there were four uh, ejections. I'm going to go through those now, and then you know we'll recoup here at the end of the video. So the first objection was uh, they were saying, well, one, there's IKEA, and two, there's IKEA. <laughs> well. The, the objection went on to be more about there are those who do furniture, they do it as their sole business. Could Quirky successfully do furniture and still do all the other products that they're taking to market? It's a reasonable question, it's a valid question. As with most anything, I'm not trying to twist your arm hard, Quirky staff, but here's something to consider. Do you know who makes most and much of IKEA's furniture? It's Souter Woodworking. Do you know who makes a lot of furniture for Staples, Office Max, Office Depot, Walmart, Kmart, Bed Bath & Beyond? Oh, it's again, Souter Furniture. Last I checked, they've got something around three football fields of enclosed manufacturing space. They power it off of their sawdust, and they're doing around a billion in sales per year and shipping over 75,000 units per day. So, I would imagine that if you had a design that you sent to them, they'd be very happy as well as competent to manufacture, package, and distribute that design on your behalf, and you could still successfully make all your other quirky products and not have to make furniture your core business and sink a lot of money into it. Just a consideration. Objection number two was, do people buy furniture online? Yes. There are hundreds of websites where you can buy furniture online, but let me talk about two. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and HSN. Bed Bath & Beyond has 35 categories of furniture that they stock, around a thousand furniture SKUs that they're selling on their website, and over 40 of those designs are RTA bookshelf slash modular furniture, just like I'm talking about with this modular uh, furniture joint system. And then HSN, they sell even more. So, yes, people buy furniture online. Yes, your two retail partners sell this type of furniture online, and I think you'd have no problem with it fitting in with all the different brand management concerns you have and logistic concerns that you have. Objection number three, the wow factor. There was a concern that even though, even the quirk staff is kind of in agreement, yeah, this is better than other RTA uh, units out there, but is there enough wow factor? Is there enough juicy design opportunity that we want to sink our teeth into it? So, what's, what's the rhetoric on that? What you always hear is the problem with uh, you know, a great utility solution is that in a retail environment you don't have the salesman on the floor selling your product. 
which means the customer has to get your product either with a display model, just looking at it, or worse, the picture on the box. So that's where in my design presentation you saw we have the opportunity to do translucent furniture. If this truly is a one-look sale opportunity, you could have translucent cube, translucent bookshelf, all this against all these other opaque designs. Currently, no translucent furniture in the RTA space. So that's my answer to how you get through it there. But the real big answer here, which I think is paramount to why I'm resubmitting here in product round 98, is that what has changed, the big change since product round 82, is Quirky is now on HSN every month. And what do we know when it comes to assembling an RTA bookshelf? We know that it's a pain and it takes about an hour. And now let's look to Quirky. What do we know about here at Quirky, about someone we get to see on video each week who is world class when it comes to be a speaker slash presenter slash storyteller slash salesman slash pitchman, pitch man. This guy is world class. We see him on video every week. And after me, of course, I'm talking about Ben Kaufman. Ben Kaufman is on Quirky every month. And so if you're looking for wow factor, excuse me, Ben Kaufman is on HSN every month. So if you're looking for wow factor, imagine Ben being on TV with all that charisma and storytelling and boom, in two minutes, two minutes, all right, I'll give you five. If you do it under five, I'll still love you. But you can do it in two if you practice. Two minutes, you assemble a bookshelf in front of everyone's eyes, jaws drop, units fly off the shelf, it follows up in all of your brick and mortar locations as well as the Corky website, and yeah, everyone knows that it takes an hour to assemble a bookshelf. You give them that experience of them seeing it in two minutes, and it's the new thing. When you stop to think about it, you know, the only thing that's going to sell itself better is if Corky started selling drugs. That or the tape stamp. Yeah, those three things pretty much all sell themselves once you've had one experience with them. Okay, moving on. Objection number four. Uh, it said it was said that Quirky didn't feel there was enough community design opportunity. <sighs> Hold on, one sec. Whew. Oh my goodness. You'll have to forgive the delay there, but when I heard that statement, my brain it exploded. <laughs> and, you know, hopefully, with my video this week, where you got to see the 30-plus designs in the modular family of furniture that I've already designed up, you're already starting to see there's a lot of community design opportunity. But, just in case that's not yet clear, let me outline why I think that my No Tools Required patented furniture joint system is perhaps the best community design opportunity of, should I say anything here on Quirky? We'll just say it's very good. How is that? The reason is this. All of your retail partners, your two currently, they sell furniture, and they're going to be able to give you their expertise and say, you know, it's this category of furniture that always sells best, or it's this category of furniture that's emerging where we'd like to see more innovation. And so for you to be able to come back to your international, computer, uh, international community, 50,000 members and growing, and say to them, hey guys, you remember that uh, no tools for our furniture joint system that we used on product XYZ? Well, using that same uh, asymmetrical joints and rotational lockdown, now we are going to make a, and it could be a table, a uh, bed frame, a bookshelf, a coffee table, a chair, a stool, any four-sided object this joint system can make. And so for you to be able to rein it into a joint system, then select the type of furniture it will be, and then release, release to be free, to 50,000 plus international people with their own personal experiences, insights, the diverse cultures, and let them come to the table with their version of that type of design. But again, it's all going back to the same joint system, which you're manufacturing, which you'd be good at, which has a brand identity. I see a huge opportunity ongoing 
to use this joint system with the community because you're not starting from scratch every time. Everyone's getting a little bit better, and, and on a technical note, when I first started, I designed all that furniture in SketchUp. A lot of people using SketchUp already here on Corky. So, those are my answers to the four objections, wrapping up with a community note. The reason I'm doing this is that, uh, especially for those of you who are new since Product Round 82, you should know that in Corky history, uh, there are several people that have won uh, their second time or more in their submissions. So they lost the first time, win thereafter. The reason I say that, I want you to know that, is if you think this is a good joint system, if you think this would be a great furniture opportunity, product opportunity for Corky, then vote for my submission. If you don't, then don't vote for my submission. The on-the-fence issue I want to clear up is that I do not want you to not vote because you're thinking that if you didn't win once, he can't win ever. That's it. So, as always, if you like it, if you think it'll sell, if you think it's innovative, if you think there's a great design opportunity for the community, vote for it. Alright, thanks. And P.S. This would win design awards. <laughs> and my camera woman says, and P.S. This would win design awards. Yeah, yeah. ICFF May 2011. Yeah, how many months away is that? Three months away. Mock up some prototypes, take it down the street to the Javits Center, see what people like. Alright, that's, that's a better way to end the video. Thanks.